It was a grinder on Tuesday night in Muncie, Indiana, but at the end, the Bobcats held the right cards and won over Ball State 72-69. to I'm Russ Eisenstein. Rob Cornelius joins me. Welcome courtside to our broadcast position at Worthen Arena. It was MAC game number 11. Ohio's above 500 in the MAC now at 6-5 and five on the season, and that's 15 wins on the year now. Ohio made enough plays in this one, finally got the flow going their way. They were up at halftime 32-31. One. Then it was Treg Setti with the finishing shot and then the finishing defensive play on the other end of the floor. He didn't top the charts on the point side in this one, but he made a lot of plays, and that really embodied what the Bobcats were all about on Tuesday night. Yep, Cats only senior ends up with nine points, but he has a scoring plate in that goes down and gets the strip on Weber, who gets the ball back, but never really gets back into ready shooting position, releases one flat off the rim late, and Ohio skates out of here with the win. Stomach issues tonight. All that's, over. That's kind of gone through this team a little bit, but it's pretty good if you have some stomach issues and you get a double-double. Tony Campbell did. Yeah, really did. 26 and 10 on the night. He was his usual self. And as he said to us in the post game, he expects every soft righty hook to go in. And most of them did tonight. He was upset that one of them was a little short, uh, but he did good work tonight. And Ohio had to get the pace going their way. It took him a little while to get things ironed out. Somewhat of a flat start, but once they finally did, they settled back into a good groove. Yeah, not a lot of points early in this game for either team. And Ball State was awesome from two for most of the first half up in the 70-75% area. Kenny Kaminsky also for Ohio with about the quietest 20 points you've ever seen, but he doesn't. He's getting more consistent as the season goes on. That's seven in a row for the Bobcats over the Cardinals. They won by six in Athens. They win by three in East Central Indiana on Tuesday night. Here's how it looked and sounded. Bumps two times and a third. Spins, got his man up in the air, leans in, shoots and scores. 16.54 to go for the first half. Ten on the timer. Right of the paint, Setti. Got his man up, leans in, shoots and scores. To the right side to Simmons. Head and shoulder fake, runs down the lane, goes to the goal, teardrop banker, got it. Left hand and under control. Left side Simmons for Ohio to the top. Kenny rocks, fires, and bangs. Down a three. First one of the night. Kaminsky on the left side, drives into the paint. Teardrop with the right hand, and he got it. Four. Good counter. You don't see a ton of minutes for Sellers right now. Simmons to the foul line, leans in and scores. Pass to Campbell, back to the bucket. Bends down, one dribble, double team on. Right hand hook that you can book it. 30 to 28, Ohio down two. At the top, it is Dardis, runs down the lane, left it up with the right hand, scooped it in, 45-42, Ohio down three. Kaminsky left wing, into the post now, Campbell, fumble the catch, works post left. Right hand hook, got it, counted at a foul. Simmons at the point, left side, Tone, rocks, fires, and bangs! A three! Simmons high on the left, turns on the Jets, beat four to the rack and laid it in! There are few players off the dribble that are better in this league than Jerron Simmons. Campbell, he has height on Tyler into the post. Lester laid it in as he fell down. Setti with the left hand and right hand dribble. Works in front of the arc. On a bounce, it spun to Campbell somehow. Leaves it up with the left hand and scores. Here comes Ohio. Left side, it's Kaminsky. Drives, baseline left. Triple team shoots, scores. Counted and a foul. Dardis left side into the post, back to the bucket. Campbell spun past Calhoun and laid it in. Oh, Bo, you couldn't know that. Now with seven. At the top with six. Stops to the foul line, throws to Setti. Head and shoulder fake, shoots with three on the shot clock. Scores. Got it. Ohio on top three. So the momentum clearly rolled from a two and one homestand through the winter weather to Indiana on Tuesday night. Now you get back to Athens late. You have a day back home, then right back on the plane on Thursday for a trip to Western New York to take on now a short-staffed Buffalo ball club that lost to Toledo on Tuesday night. Yeah, another good defensive performance for Ohio, but you're right, short week, another plane trip, double away this week to Ball State and Buffalo. Not easy, but again, Ohio seems to be getting some breaks now. Kent State with some guards missing, Buffalo with some folks perhaps missing on Friday. We'll see where this is, but breaks coming at just the right time for Ohio as we cross the halfway mark of the max schedule. I'm playing with house money a little bit here too because it's tough to sweep a road trip. You get the first win, and you're in good stead going up to a Buffalo place where Ohio has historically been okay. Yeah, Ohio's played well up there, and obviously some more wins left on this max schedule. You're at a good place, I think. Ohio wins at 72 to 69 over the Ball State Cardinals. It was a fun one. Our postgame report is supported by Don Wood Toyota on the web at donwoodtoyota.com, 900 East State Street in Athens. For Jason Chapino and the Bobcat TV crew, and for Rob Cornelius, I'm Russ Eisenstein. So long from Muncie.